Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is dedicated to one of my favorite people on YouTube or favorite wet shaving content creator. And it is, why am I showing the box? That's not him. It is Johan from <laughs> Shave and Butcher. And right now he has a fundraiser Yay. going on. We'll talk about that in a bit. But the razor we're using today in honor of the great Johan is the Focus Slim Aluminum Shavette. This is the, what model number? R28. And it runs about $58. I got it from Superior Shave here in the US and it uses a half DE blade. Now, one of the things I want to mention as I uh, get the blade, this is made, this razor is made in Italy, by the way. Uh, it even says so right there, 100% made in Italy. So if that's important to you, great. So it takes a half DE blade, and so what we're going to do is snap that blade in the paper like that. And we will pull it out. And this is the blade that came with the razor, because I'm a fan of using the blade that comes with the razor, because as far as I'm concerned, that's what the man manufacturer intends. This is a... Za Super Stainless, or something like that, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I might, it might be a little bit fidgety, me loading this. But anyway, this slides out, comes down. You put the blade in with sort of the curved side. When you bend the blade, there's one end that's curved, and what you do is lay that in, essentially like so, but you're not gonna be able to see it. Anyway, you lay it up on those two pins, and then you swing this, into place and lock it shut. And once you get her loaded, it's like that. So let's close that for a minute so we don't cut ourselves. One thing I wanna mention is this is Shavette number three in our series of straights and Shavettes. If you wanna see all those videos, I have a playlist. You can look, um, Shavette shaving and particularly the style that uses half D blades is sort of the ninja class of all shaving. These blades are incredibly thin and sharp. These blades are even thinner than the Artist Club style blades. So for me, it is the absolute, absolute most difficult because there's very little margin for error. Uh, and by the way, we're working on about 24 hours growth today, as you can see right there with the addition of the lights, it really helps. I'm gonna use our PAA pre-shave cube and I've been using this all week to shave my head by itself and it works great. I'm really happy with this PAA cube and I will replace it when it's gone, or I'll probably replace it before it's gone because I just like it. And I find that it, it just helps, you know? Or at least, I mean, it, it works well as the shaving soap in its own right. And so if you're having problems with lathering, especially if you're new and you need a little boost, grab some of this. Um, it, it will really help your lathering. And there are other purported, purported <laughs> benefits that I can't, you know, validate, but uh, a lot of people love it. I do. Did I just, no, I don't know if I messed up the camera. Anyway, we've never used this razor before, but, we're, but it's for Johan. Johan right now has a raffle ongoing for, to raise money for Parkinson's, which is a disease that he has. And uh, so I'm going to link a video Below, I forgot to talk about the soap. Let me finish my thought on Johan, and then we'll get into the soap. We're gonna link a, a video below where Johan talks about the raffle, and there's some prizes that you can win. Wow, 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 look at this. This is the AP Shave Co. White Wizard. I know I'm all over the place today, people, but the Shavette has got me nervous. Anyway, please go check his video and give him a sub while you're there. He is a great guy, for, hails from Sweden. And I really like him. And I hope you will consider contributing uh, in the right raffle and maybe you win something. And if you don't, you're still, you're still helping find a cure for Parkinson's, again, which Johan has. And he's a terrific straight razor shaver in spite of that. You know, it's difficult. Um, so the soap, let's talk about the soap. Sterling, what have we said about Sterling all along? It's fantastic. And that's all there is to it. $13.60 for 5.8 ounces, $2.34 per ounce. Excellent, excellent price. Uh, the Island Man, Island Man, really good tropical scent, bergamot, lime, mandarin, coconut, some rum, <sighs> scent strip, about medium 5.5 to 6. 
5.526. We expect a great shave from Sterling today. AP Shave Co. White Wizard, excellent brush for the money. And we are ready to go. I don't know how this is gonna to go, to be honest. There could be blood. I apologize in advance if they are, because I don't know if I'm good enough to wield this sort of instrument yet. We're about to find out, aren't we? Okay, I'm gonna use our Doug Bear swing-in method, and we're gonna to try to find the angle of the tack for this razor, which generally they say kind of lay it. it sort of has a ridge on it, and you lay it flat. And uh, feels pretty good so far. Again, especially with these DE blades, these uh, Chevette, the blades are super thin and super sharp, very little margin for error. And, and that's why they're difficult to use. And for me, the most difficult razor to use, the most likely razor to cut you, if you are not careful and you're not mindful of your technique. The straight razor, the blade is thicker, so it allows you a little bit more quarter. The great Charles Roberts, uh, if you remember him, always talked about this, shavettes being the ninja class <laughs> you know, of uh, shaving. So here we go with our left hand. Let's swing in, Doug Bear style. One pretty good so far, not too bad. Actually, this Shavette doesn't feel bad. Again, smaller blade than I'm used to because I've been, you know, shaving with uh, straight razors which wield that, you know, close to three inch blade and this one is just, I don't actually know the width of a DE blade. What is that? Two inches, an inch and three quarter? I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. Uh, comment below if you've ever used this particular razor. Again, we're trying to be mindful of our angle here and cognizant of where the blade is. I find that a lot of cuts are sustained from straight razors and shavettes by putting the blade to your face. For me, that is the most dangerous time. Not so much when I'm using it, but when I'm putting it to my face. So I come in with a relatively, I try to come in with a shallow angle like that against my face and then sort of rotate it into position. Actually, it doesn't feel bad. It's just, it's not as wide as what I'm used to. And I noticed I didn't get my neck on that other side, so we'll have to swap hands here again. Um, it's not as wide as what I'm used to. So it takes a little getting used to. So far, I don't want to jinx it, but this feels better than I expected, you know. That little tiny, thin, super sharp blade has treated me pretty well so far. And let's hope that holds, because it may not. Um, but let's keep going. I want to thank everybody for watching. It's been wonderful these last few months uh, making content with for, for you folks and, and meeting all these new great content creators and mentioning their channels and just really having a good time. I want to tell a story that was inspired by Johan, since we were talking about Johan. And this shave is dedicated to my oh. brother, Johan. A Swedish brother, Johan. Anyway... Johan was talking about in his video, he used Stetson, which is an old school aftershave. I don't know if he used the clone or aftershave, but anyway, he was talking about his son doesn't like it. He's got a relatively young um, son. And we were talking about, you know, this is not for young people to use, you know, that sort of um, aftershave. And it reminded me what I didn't realize until Johan mentioned that. So thank you, Johan, for this. When I was in the second or third grade, I used to get into my dad's medicine cabinet in the bathroom, and he had British Sterling cologne and canoe. Do you remember those old school colognes from the 70s? 
maybe even 60s. I don't remember when they originally came out, but when I used it, it was in the early 70s, let's say. Second or third grade. I used to sneak before school and slather that stuff on. So much so that my second, I can't remember which, whether it was second or third grade, but so much so that my teacher called my mom and said, you gotta stop this. <laughs> you gotta stop this kid from using so much aftershave or cologne because I'm allergic to it. And you can ask my mom. Well, don't ask my mom, but trust me, I'll ask my mom. Maybe I'll get her on video. <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe that was the very moment that I was sort of my shave geek roots, the first sort of hint that I was a shave geek in the making when I was, you know, I don't know how old I would have been at that point, um, seven or eight, I don't know. I don't know how old you are when you're in the second or third grade, but so I was slathering that stuff on as early as, you know, seven or eight, <laughs> and so much so that I uh, had to be told to stop <laughs> or uh, lighten up at a very minimum. So, all right, let's see how we can do here on this pass. This pass always scares me a little bit. I have sustained some memory lines from, from the memory line, meaning a, a, just a line on your face where there's a cut. And so... cutting well. I try to be very careful, especially with these doggone shavettes on that pass because I sometimes I get sloppy. And the way to keep from being sloppy is shallow and then rotate for me. By the way, this is a very light razor being aluminum. So you don't have a lot of juice behind the blade if you're used to that, you know, heavier, you know, big razor. Shaving well, though, I must say. It really is shaving well. Um, it is shaving better than expected. And I'm telling you, you can't be careful enough with these shavettes. Because you slip for a moment, next thing you know, there's blood. So hopefully I will continue my cautious approach, you know, so far. At least that's what we're trying to do. Not much feedback, but it's cutting. Actually, it's cutting pretty well. This is a nice little razor. It, it uh, kind of reminds me of something that'd be really nice for travel because it's so, you know, it's so compact and uh, lightweight. And you could just have your, you know, DE blades. See that memory line right there? That's what I call memory line. <laughs> I want to thank uh, all of you for joining these videos. We're going to do our, uh, our Mel 326 with a twist post shave today again, which I really enjoyed yesterday. I know some people will poo-poo it, but man, if it feels good and it works well, I'll try it. I'm not one of those people that's so close-minded that I don't think I can learn things. And I'm happy when, nothing makes me happier than picking up a, something that works great and trying it and then go, wow, you know, that's fantastic. I love learning from other people. And I love passing on what I've learned from other people. And so hopefully you are watching this and, you know, picking up some things. 
and I'm helping you as I'm being helped. All right. Gotta say, this shape, it's shaping pretty well. And I'm not going to jinx myself, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's going pretty well so far. Really enjoying the Sterling Island Man. Terrific soap at a terrific price. I really can't say enough good things about Sterling and the way they do business, the way they support the community. Um, you know, they just get to work. You know, that's kind of like, that's sort of Sterling in a nutshell. They just, they just get to work. And they, they do the best they can at all times. And, you know, they've made mistakes like everybody makes, but... They just keep plugging, you know, relentless. And they put out a good product, a good quality product. I don't know if you can see the sheen on this lather. Can you? No. Ah, I wish this uh, camera, because I use the front facing camera, doesn't focus. So you can't see it, but I promise you, this lather will be right up there with any lather. Regardless of whether it has the you know, I'll put, I'll put the ingredients there for you, by the way, in case you're interested. This soap, in terms of the quality of shave that I will get, will produce the same result as any soap, the Super Blue Emu, the Chupacabra Oil, the Dragon Tello, the Unicorn Milk. <laughs> you know, the result. The result, to me, is what matters. And enjoying it along the way, of course. But I enjoy this. I enjoy the fact that I'm getting a doggone great scent, a great soap, and I can buy two of these, oftentimes for the price of one of the Fancy Pants soaps, and it works just as well for me. I'm not missing out, you know? You can't really beat that. So that's why we talk about Sterling. Okay. Let's try to bring this home. I don't know if this is the greatest blade in the world. It feels okay. It's definitely cutting. Um, how good it is, I don't know. But it's doing its job. Be careful when putting that blade to your face. I can't emphasize that enough. If you get one of these blades or one of these razors, really careful putting the blade to your face. Need to stretch here a little bit. Feeling good? I wish I could remember some of the tips that I'm giving on giving or have been given on stretching and so on, but half the time you, you take to the shave and you just forget. And by the way, I'm sorry if this is going a little bit longer. I've been talking more. Hope you don't mind. All right, let's, let's get this final side done here, minding our technique. Nice little razor. If you're one of those people that just don't want to get, get into straights, you want to try something. Worth a shot. And I will say that getting those 30 some straight razor shaves in has really helped feel a little more comfortable in wielding these laser sharp blades here.
I still prefer the feel of a straight razor. Mostly because it's what I'm used to and also the size of the blade. I'm getting more real estate. It's taking me longer because I'm, uh, for one, I'm, I'm being careful, but also this, the blade is a lot smaller. So I'm have to, you know, go over areas a little bit more. But overall, feeling a little bit down there. Not too bad, I would say. We don't want to mess it up at the end, just fooling around there. Oh boy. It's been pretty fun using uh, Johan's favorite razor. Oh. Very nice. If you've used this razor before, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about it. Yo Johan, every time he sees this razor, he just can't see it enough. Focus. Okay, let's rinse the face. We'll come back and get into our post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back, and we have already used our Lancaster towel. There'll be a drop for some of these on Father's Day. And now we're going to use the male 326 post with a twist and in that you might see some blue specks this is witch hazel water and island man splash in the form of a cube and i used this yesterday and i absolutely loved it and it feels great and so as it's melting it's releasing some of that witch hazel some of that splash really feels outstanding I got to tell you. Now, what the medical, you know, Shaves 326, Ken Klitschko, talking about using medical terms like homostasis or heterostasis. I don't know what we say. I don't know anything about that. But it feels good on my face. And I enjoy it. And that really is all that matters. So we're going to set that down. We're just going to let that set while we wrap up this shave dedicated to our friend Johan. Island Mon shaves up great stuff, great scent. We used the aftershave splash in the form of the ice cube. We used the Focus. Uh, this is the R28. Our first run with it, we didn't mangle ourselves. I got to give that a thumbs up. <laughs> we used the White Wizard from AP Shape Co. I love this brush. This is probably my favorite brush, at least my favorite knot at the very least. We used the TAA Cube, which is outstanding. And we use our Lancaster towel. We don't want to forget that. Great shave. I strongly urge you once again, hit the video below. Watch Johan's video on the fundraiser. Get in that raffle if you would like. I want to thank you so much for watching. I know this one went long, but I was having fun. So that's all there is to it. I hope to see you again soon. Until next time, remember, it's your shave. Do it your way and God bless. Oh.